Well, if you want to make your own homemade rust, my son did this one earlier, started this one. But you get vinegar, peroxide, salt, put it in a sprayer, and apply. And let it do its job. And when you apply it, it'll start doing that. And you get the end result of this door right here. Wipe it down, clean it up, and it'll look a little different. You gotta share that with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, home about the Hollow Boys Garage. Well, here's the red one. Future rat rod. Cab on. Got some trimming to do. The rattling you hear is not from the motor. It's from the Cadillac converters. Uh, they're clogged up. We're going to cut them off, run straight pipe. But get to the point. We're going to be trimming here, set it down, trim on the other side, get it set down. And then we'll move it forward about an inch and a half. Then we'll go down about two inches. You all know, cut the back, marry it up. Man, them cats sound like crap. But, just wanted to share this with y'all. And the blue one, got some new wheels. We cut the back, the floor, and it comes back this way. Cut it about seven inches or more. Slid it up underneath the cab, got it tacked in. The very bottom of the floor here will be cut out at a later time. Um, I'm actually going to leave the rails here this time. I'm going to box those in so when the bed of the cab sits on it, it'll be a nice support that goes across and then everything will be tied in. I don't want to do no cross bracing. I want this and that over there to be its actual support so everything flexes how it should. Uh, we're working on boxing in the uh, cab to the um, Crown Vic body. Um, that's what this is. Got a little cut line here we got to do still, but it'll box in. Uh, this is the top plate coming to the top of the seam here. Box it in, come straight down with it. We run the metal on the outside here, so it seals fine. The door seals get cut to about here, uh, about right where there is, and I mean, it keeps everything dry. I haven't had one leak in the blue truck yet. The uh, dash, I kept a lot of the, the little part top of the dash and what we're doing is we're sealing it in to the Vic because I wanted it to look kind of more original. Um, when we take this beauty piece and you lay it up in there, you can see how it kind of blends it in a lot more better than just cutting metal and doing it. These vents will be sealed. That middle one won't. It's going to be like, um, it's going to be more of a breather. Um, to help the AC you know, circulate more. Same thing down there, it's gonna be sealed. Uh, I just think that old look will look pretty cooler in this one. Again, I'm playing with it, it's my truck. I wanna see what it looks like. Um, the outside, we capped in the gap from the firewall to the cab. That's welded in up to a point up there where there'll be a little access hatch to get into if we ever do put wipers on it. Again, I don't think I am because the blue truck, I rain exit, and it it beads everything off, you know. Uh, I haven't had no problems. I run it day and night. Um, so, that's again, this is this is a play toy, you know. Uh, I'm beginning to, I'm trying some different stuff on this one. But, give you all a run down here. That's what's been going on. Huh. It's the slow and steady stuff. It's that fit and finish. Um, making sure that cab is, you know, square, level, you know, it's not kicked this way half an inch, kicked the other way, you know, whatever it is, you know. So when, when the cab goes on, the bed goes on, the lines just look good. And that's that's what it comes down to doing, is making that fit and finish look good. Here y'all go. Look at that thing coming in the driveway. Yeah. I tell you, reliable. Reliable, reliable, reliable. It looks so good. 
leave that thing sitting there idling forever. Never overheat, run good. <laughs> All right, y'all, enough rambling. A little short video telling y'all what we've done. If y'all got any questions, if you're doing this build yourself and you want to know something, comment below, hit me up, uh, send me a message, whatever it may be. I'll definitely help y'all out. Well, and my last video I posted on Instagram, I appreciate the comments, you know. I appreciate y'all understanding where I'm coming from on that. But we definitely appreciate y'all, and we'll definitely holler at y'all. All right, y'all, what you saw was take the saws off from here, come down and cut across because of the lines right here. Really can't get the saws all blade into here without, you know, worrying about hitting the uh, lines. So then he just took the grinder and, you know, scored it on the backside so he could break it off without getting into these lines or having to remove them or anything like that. That's how you do it, you know, without having to remove any of that stuff. And it's the same thing on this side. This side, you can cleanly cut with the saws all again so you ain't got to touch the radiator you know move any of the lines right, one more thing y'all please make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell on these videos i'm new to this i always forget to say it and i normally just put it in text on the videos but i really appreciate all the likes the subscribers i've gotten so far you know and like i said i'm trying to grow this i'm trying to do something you know Definitely with my family. This is a, a family built thing. You know, my, me and my son's been doing it and we definitely enjoy it. But again, I appreciate everything. All right, y'all. I'll let you later.